Hello. If you're watching this video, congratulations, you've been added to a fleet account for Appway Wireless Scales. This means that you now have access to all of the equipment that has already been created for your fleet. This brief video is going to show you how to use the Appway app and how to accurately read your weights within the app. For starters, you're going to want to open the app by selecting the Appway logo off your available apps. Once the app opens, if you've already created an account, you're going to put in your username and password to log in. And it will start by opening the home screen. Now, if you've not added any equipment to your home screen, it should look like mine does. And you will simply press add truck to select the truck that you're currently in and wish to view the weight of. Once you've pressed the button next to it that now was highlighted in green, you will scroll to the bottom and hit submit. You're then going to select the trailer that you will be pulling by hitting add trailer. You will select from this list the trailer that you're in. Once selected, it will be green. You'll scroll to the bottom and press submit. Now you should see both pieces of equipment added to your home screen. From here, you're going to be able to see your estimated steer axle weight, your drive axle weight, and your trailer axle weight. As you'll see indicated here, my steer axle weight is in green, meaning that I'm well under the chosen maximum weight limit of 12,000 pounds. For my drive axle, it's showing it in yellow, and this is only because I've set my maximum weight limit a little bit lower. Uh, so I think I'm at 32,000 pounds. So it'll turn yellow as you get close and red once you reach the weight or exceed it. For my trailer axle group, I'm well under the 34,000 pounds I've set for that axle group, so it's reading in green as well. Now the most important thing here is you'll see the uh, green battery icon where it says last contacted under both the drive axle and trailer axle. In my instance, this is showing last contacted at 2.17.48 p.m. for the drive axle and at 2.17.42 p.m. for the trailer axle group. This means that I am within range of the sensors and currently picking up the broadcast. So this is giving me an actual weight update in live time for what I have on those axle groups. Now to make sure you get the most accurate weight reading, you need to park your equipment on a level surface, release your trailer brakes while keeping your tractor brakes engaged, give your air suspension time to fully pressurize and level out, and then read your weight. Should those weights, uh, the last contacted stamp, show a red battery eye contact with no updated time, this would mean you're likely out of range from the sensor and you might need to get out of your cab and get closer to the sensors broadcasting to make sure that you're able to get an actual read. Once you're within range, it should say last contacted and start updating, unless the battery is dead, in which case you would need to replace the battery. So on the home screen here, you will see each individual axle group weight. You will also see your total weight, in my case 70,000 pounds, or 70,800 87 pounds for my total weight, as well as my estimated cargo weight. Now, from this screen at any time, you are able to share the weight by pressing the icon in the upper right hand corner, and you would actually be able to directly send it to somebody uh, via either mail or a message. So that's an option for you. Uh, you're also able to zero out your cargo weight in case. Uh, you wanted to know what the weight of the next load is. By pressing that, it will set it to zero, as indicated here. That means that if we now apply more weight, the estimated cargo weight will actually show what the weight is of just the most recently added cargo. You can always clear the offset, which is going to bring you back to showing what your actual cargo weight is. So at any time from this home screen, you're going to be able to remove and add any equipment. So I will press remove trailer. It will ask me if I want to remove it. I will say OK. And that's not deleting it. It's just simply taking it off the home screen. And then I can do the same for my truck if I'm switching trucks as well. I would simply press remove and hit OK. Then when I'm ready to add a new truck, I'll simply select it from the list, any truck that is available submit it, and then I can do the same for the trailer.
So that has been an example of how to use the AppWay app. If you have any other questions, you can always select from your drop-down menu, support, and click on appway.com slash support. And here you're going to be able to see answers to many of the frequently asked questions, as well as some overviews of other sections of the app. And if you have any other questions, you can always call us directly or contact your AppWay fleet administrator within your company. Thank you for watching and happy trucking.